Relica has finally got its new lick of paint with a graphical overhaul. The in-game calendar has seen some pretty decent improvements, and the rest of the year roadmap is right around the corner. First off, to touch on that roadmap, via Twitch, Jagex is going to reveal the roadmap on May 14th, 16 game time on Twitch, where we're going to get the first look at the current plans for the rest of the year, with familiar Jmod faces popping up as they drop in first details about these newly announced updates. Once again, that's going to be on Twitch, May 14th, 16 game time. If you can't make it, there's going to be an article covering it right after the show posted on the official website and the VOD will be available as well as on the YouTube channel. Now with that said, today we have a graphical update to the Relica area. The environment artists are at it again bringing this area, the Fremnik area, in line with a lot of the other areas have gotten a fresh lick of paint in the past year or so. So expect no different from the team that's been doing those previous areas with Relica. It's looking really amazing. You see it on screen the comparison to these before and afters bringing new life to one of these older areas that you may not visit on a regular day in your RuneScape adventures. So hop in game, go ahead and check it out so you can see for yourself just how different the environment feels and looks with the new updated textures, models, and atmosphere. It's not the only thing that got updated today. We have an in-game calendar update bringing you a new look and functionality. You can find the new calendar in the adventures tab showcasing upcoming community events, streams, game updates, and news. If you click on any one of these events, you'll find out more about it. They do plan on continuing to improve this system so do keep an eye out for more news and if you have any feedback or suggestions about the functionality or things you'd like to see with the calendar let Jagex know it may see the light of day this seems like it could be a great tool to keep players informed about what's to come or what has happened recently especially if you're a lapse player and are coming back after some time anyways if you enjoyed the video so far please hit that like button if you're not subscribed yet and you'd like to stay up to date on all things RuneScape or related then hit that subscribe button thank you with that said we're going to close out today's video with the past patch notes, so let's check out what's been changed with today's update. Starting off with the community hit list, mobile NPC dialogue can be enabled on desktop as a toggleable option. Leveling up attack, strength, defense, range, and magic now plays their unique jingles again. Leveling up attack, strength, defense, range, magic, and slayer above level 50 now plays their unique greater jingles again. Added a search bar to the gameplay tab in the settings menu. Made improvements to the wealth evaluator. Added a miscellaneous row that gives the wealth within miscellaneous inventory such as the metal bank, archaeology, material storage, etc. Remove the treasure chest row from the interface and replaced it with the currency pouch. Added the ability to see the wealth values for bank tabs. General interface polish. The interface and text within is now larger and coloring is applied to wealth values, matching the currency pouch and grant exchange. Moving on to some game jam updates, the barrel's door puzzle interface will remain while you are in combat. Change collection of daily sand and daily flax from the hard resets, which reset at zero game time time to soft resets, which reset upon your first logout after zero game time. Players may now choose which gendered voice they wish to use during combat and when playing emotes by visiting the makeover mage. One change to Requiem for a Dragon adjusted a few potential spawn coordinates for the Wandering Soul and Shambling Horror random events on the Ungale ritual site to avoid blocking. Lastly, some general changes. Harmony Dust can now be made from Crystal Urchins using the Telekinetic Grind spell. The skill guide icons for Power Burst Opportunity for improved recipe plus one and power burst of opportunity for improved recipe plus two have been updated to display the correct potion tweak the hexer braids hairstyle to better match the beard color players now correctly state the name of the company they joined in the giant dwarf quest players can now mature burnt tree stumps in order to progress the rebuilding edgeville mini quest without having to wait for the tree to regrow corrected an issue where the merlin's crystal quest accept screen could be triggered after starting the quest and finally in character references to Britain and England in King Arthur's dialogue and his Farrock Museum exhibit now refer to Terragard, the home of the humans. That is it for your past notes. Links to everything discussed in this video down in the description below if you want to head over there and check it out. If you missed last week's video, it'll be on screen now. So see you over there if you check it out. If not, I'll see you with the next game update video. And until then, I am out. Aloha.